Hey everybody, Data here. Another episode of uh, Nadia, The Secret of Blue Water. Oh, gotta get a different uh, subtitle font going on here. Uh, yeah. Sorry. I'm just a bit thrown off. I went to sit down and do a recording. And my dumbass started uh, recording the same episode again that you saw yesterday if you were watching this in release order. I literally got right up to the beginning of the episode giving commentary about my expectations and what had happened last time, even clarifying or uh, uh, resolving things that I had said, and then boom. King vs. King comes up, but I'm like, wait a second, I didn't even say part two. Did I mess up? Look, I do all the back work on this channel, so it is a wonder to me that y'all aren't complaining left and right about episodes going out of order, or not being posted to the right place, or edits being bad. I try my best, but I am me at the end of the day, and I fuck up a lot. I didn't get to where I am today by being good. But yeah, we had Black King here, made by Jean, on behalf of Sanson. And Red King, made by Hanson, both powered by uh, Jean's portable batteries. I guess to throw us off, we also had a King Crab. Um, but yeah, and that's when Jean, trying to get the kings back, discovered the metal hatch, or at least the metal plating on the bottom of the, uh, the island. And pointedly, this episode and the next one are not listed as filler, so I am hoping that, uh, this is going to be a Discovery of the Island episode. Because even when they give us an aerial view of the island, there's a flat part with nothing on it, and a giant circle thing. Here we go. Good. I want to return to seriousness. This island was founded on principles, gosh darn it! Pointedly, the shit that they make blows out exhaust no matter what, for no reason, apparently. So remember, the, the fake kings blew out exhaust, and they were made with portable batteries. Is that what his trick has been? He doesn't want to get off the island? Is he going to sabotage? Maybe he knows something about the island that he's not sharing. You were born in Atlantis, right? How have we not figured this out? You heard your backstory. You're from Atlantis. Yeah, that would be a giant concern. Also, the fact that uh, Nadia wasn't drawn with a bottom half there for a sec.
世の中には使える人間と使えない人間の2種類の人間がいるんです。するとあんたは使える人間。私のような伯爵は基本的に労働の類はしないのですが、こういう単純労働は得意なもので。<笑>蚊が顔に止まってたんだよ。あ、蚊が止まった。この辺りは蚊が多いですね。I'm worried that his play is that he, if they get off the island, they're gonna find out a hold of his lies or something. But he was on the American battleship. どうして？昔は俺たちもさ。ナディアのブルーウォーターを狙う悪者だったのにノーチラス号に乗ってからというものなんだかみんないいものになっちゃったんだよなガーゴイルみたいなもっと悪い奴らがいたからねじゃあこれからどうするんだい僕は Even bad guys can measure themselves up against worse bad guys 自分の生まれた場所を知らないのか自分がいつどこで生まれたのかわかんないんだそうかだからなでやってちょっと変わってんのかな私のどこが変わってるっていうのな、な、なでやい、いや、あの、だから僕はそんなつもりじゃなくて、ああ。じゃあ、ちょっと来て、お願いがあるの。さあ、来てみんなに聞こえたら、どうするんですかどこにあるんだ There's literally only two other people on this island that would care about it. And nobody else here drinks. それが発酵してできた天然のワインを先日発見したのです。ワ,ワイン。ええ、町では絶対に手に入らない。天然のワインです。そんな素晴らしいものがこの島にあったなんて。こんなに蚊が多いのでは仕事にならないし。どうですか。ここいらでちょっと一休みをして。一緒に飲みに行きます。I don't trust this guy anymore. He was nice when he was on the American ship, but he's been weird since the island. You animators, you know what you're fucking doing. The length of time it takes him to hit water, I think he should be dead on impact. He's not hitting terminal velocity by that distance, but getting close to it. I don't see why that would be Sanson. So is it Argyle or whatever his name is? Ayrton. I don't know where I got Argyle from. Okay. So I was right. It wasn't Sanson. Is it going to turn out to be like a, a spaceship, a crashed spaceship that's just been adrift? Because if we think, if we think Gargoyle's new thing is a spaceship, right? We're calling it a spaceship? Then what better thing of our guys just wandering into a spaceship? 
and if it's been floating around for thousands of years, why not an island building up around it? He fooled her, knocked her out. Okay, action shot, cool. I mean, I, I love it. I love it. It's great when they come together. My brain is in the mystery zone now. What's Ayrton up to? I doubt they drove the tank off to the wine. I doubt the wine is real. It's a small island. Small island, in fact, so small, you ran around it once, running away from the Gratan, if you recall. Eternal logic of a show is what makes it work so well, and I'm having a really hard time ignoring the failings of not following that internal logic. Also now, they just have boars. Look, I'm not even questioning where the metal, the worked metal is coming from. Or what they made leather out of. Nadia was so concerned about them just finding a goat, but now two boars show up out of nowhere. Maybe there's an entrance to this island thing, and they needed the Gratan to open it up. Oh, she is just right there. あたしの of course, every animal you met at the circus fucking died. Plus, the dude was whipping you at the circus, or whipping at you. Is he trying to get her out so he can keep driving by himself? I am... not entertained by the amount of whips that have been going on in this show. Also, Sanson was like super good guy. Now he's beating up animals. I mean, we've taken a hard turn from the beginning.
Clearly my whole theory about filler, not filler, doesn't matter anymore. That, we've got super cartoony here, and this isn't even filler. Okay, Rudeus. あ、あれは二人乗りだから僕は留守番なんだ。ねえ I know, my guesses are just as stupid as the cartoony bits, too, so... え、あとグレナバン白尺の配偶者として。<笑> I still think he's lying. Is it like he can't get his uh, inheritance unless he gets married? I'm just trying to figure this guy out. Like, why was he on the battleship anyway? If this was all clear. If he's British, what was he doing on the American battleship? そんなひどいことできないわ。ああ。ほら、バチが当たった。食べてなんかいないってば。あれ。これはどうしたの？これは大発見だ。ジャパニーグリフ。ルフィーズ I'm telling you, I think this thing is a giant spaceship that crashed. Knowing the f knowing that the Nautilus is like some thousands of years old, that this thing has been around for a thousand years, collecting dirt and trees and animals and whatnot. I wouldn't be surprised if Lost took notes from this show. At the same time, though, Disney's Atlantis would have come out before Lost 2, right? Odds are more likely they would have stolen from that. Oh man, don't be like Biff in Back to the Future. That is the look he had going on there for a second. Sanson better beat the crap out of this guy. I'm losing patience with him. Good, I like where that was going. Why is it filled with broken rocks? I feel like you're elevated enough that rocks wouldn't just blow in here. Oh, no! Okay, good. Weird, but good. I want mystery. I want to solve mysteries.
Also, obviously, not thousands of years old if naughty is the keyword. At the same time, if Nemo knew about this place, why did he ever come here? I figure any of the New Atlanteans or Nemo would have known about this place. It was one of theirs, right? Oh, is it a, uh, is a spaceship filled with Nautiluses? Yeah, this island is a lot bigger on the inside. That looks like a mini Babylon, uh, thing. Like, the same one from the island. You think the speaking to animals thing, she's able to speak to the gem or the computer or something, and that's like an extension of that? Man, even her clothes couldn't go through. The walkway was transparent. Also weird that the uh, faces are carved into those side things. I may have said Babylon, I meant Babel. Put my money on spaceship. Oh, and if it's floating a bunch of those uh, Nautiluses on the inside, that must be some sort of, uh, you know, like field extension thing. How um, they're all lighter weight on the surface, right? The anti gravity that's holding everything also makes them lighter on the outside? I don't know. It doesn't make much sense in, in practice, but it's the only thing right now I have to work on. Granted, Gene said they were floating. To me, it looked like they were being held up by wires and whatnot, so... And I doubt the show is pulling some sort of weird, um... cheap sci-fi thing. Like, oh, they're floating. You can clearly see the wires, like Doctor Who, bad... Bad, uh, no money, uh, set design. I don't know. But at least this is something I can get back into again. I feel like maybe the island thing is over now, and now we're whatever the island actually turns out to be. But clearly something, maybe Nadia, 
Here's the thing. Here's the thing I'm not getting. This place seems super old. Naughty is name is the keyword. Naughty is not that old. Unless she is, unless Nemo and her are like have extended ages and they're like not really being forthcoming on that. Or Nemo knew this place existed and just didn't mess with it. Well, maybe he did. Maybe he came here, took a Nautilus, or the Nautilus, and just left this place to float around? He had to be pretty confident that with his complete control of the air, that you wouldn't think Gargoyle would find it someday? Unless he's the one that made it look like an island? In which case, that was his defense from Gargoyle finding it? Because I guess, to be fair, Gargoyle didn't find their Antarctic base either? I don't know. Maybe that's the only way that the whole Nadia being the keyword thing makes sense. Unless... I feel like I'm doing this thing now where I'm going, unless, unless, unless... Unless Nadia is named after somebody, or... Her name... He was named... She... <clears throat> he named her explicitly Nadia in the off chance that they would need that name again. See, this is the problem again. I have no real clues to work off of here, so I feel like any shot in the dark is a valid shot in the dark. I feel like the early days of me and Griff watching Heavenly Delusion, and Griff is like, maybe heaven's another dimension! And I'm like, that's stupid. Although, maybe. <laughs> We're doing one of those again. But now she's naked in another room by herself, and the rest of the place is activating. And my concern is... Unless she is older than she appears to be, and same for Nemo, then she wouldn't have memories to unlock like it appears that she is doing. Because otherwise, she wouldn't remember anything. Well, I guess something could have happened to her. It seemed like Nemo lost her immediately after the Tower of Babel in, uh... About to say the Amazon. Uh, Atlantis. And Atlantis blew up. Now, if there's a something that did happen to her, like I guess she had to get to the surface somehow. Maybe this place broke off the top of Atlantis. I don't know. Too much. It's too much. Too many possibilities. I will be ranting at you with theories and ideas for the next half hour if left to my own devices. And I think the only thing to do here is to just jump to the next episode and figure it out. So, I have been Theta. This has been another Stoneface Reactions. Nadia, the Secret of Blue Water. And I will catch you next time. Bye bye Hey everybody, thanks for watching another Stoneface Reactions. If you have an idea of another video we could go ahead and watch, go ahead and put it in the comments down below and we'll add it to the wheel. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let us know what you thought about this video and what parts you liked. And until then, we'll see you next time. Is this too goofy? <laughs>